Hey, what is happening, my fearless networking friend, Todd Falcone here. Welcome back to another episode today. And we're going to chat about exactly what the subject says on the title of this post. I'm frustrated and I want to quit. Uh, so let's talk about that for a second, because this is pretty common in this business. And I don't even know if pretty is the right word extremely common where people get into the business and they become frustrated and they just throw in the towel and they stop the very thing that they got into and they got into this thing because they thought it was going to lead them someplace and it hasn't led them yet to where that they where they want to go and because they're not seeing the results that they thought they should be seeing, they become increasingly frustrated and then they just throw, throw in the towel and they give up. And so I think probably every networker at some point in their career uh, will face that. Uh, I think even some of the biggest networkers in the business that have gone through ups and downs probably have had those feelings. I know I have. Uh, I can tell you like from my personal experience, like the first two years that I was involved in a business, I had nothing to show for it financially. So can you imagine like signing up for a business? I quit my job 90, 90 days into my first business. And so the, the, the thing that was, you know, keeping food on the table and my rent paid, my car payment paid. And I quit that job and then, which is stupid. And, uh, I ended up like, I was, I was having to like knock on doors and like sell water filters door to door, just trying to, you know, buy top ramen so I could feed myself. And there was days where I was just so frustrated, man, like coming home, like I was, here's the thing. I was showing up and I was working and I was putting the time in, I was putting the effort in. I remember this guy, Dan Leahy he was like, dude, he goes, you're like the hardest working guy in this office. I'm like, I know, you know, and I would show up earlier and I would stay later. I mean, I, I had the work ethic, but it was like to put in the work and then to not get the result is, is really frustrating. And to put in the work for a long period of time and not see the result, that's, inc I mean, I can feel anxiety welling up inside of me, even as I like kind of describe that scenario. And so, but what's also interesting is there, there, I find this actually happening more often than not where somebody is, I'm not saying, let me, let me back up. I'm not saying people don't, like there, there aren't people that do the work and don't get the results because there are, but there's a lot of people that come in and they kid themselves into believing that they're actually doing something and they're really not. And then they're frustrated and they're like looking elsewhere, you know, to other opportunities or out of the opportunity space in general because they're not getting results. So that's like, and I've, some of you guys maybe heard me say this before. It's like, they're mad at the lack of the results from the work that they never did, which is kind of crazy, right? Like, why should you be all pissed off and bent out of shape if you haven't really done the work in the first place? Like, what, what do you got to be pissed off about? You haven't even done anything. So, but there are a lot of people that do that. So what, what I would say, like, in fact, like if you have somebody that comes to you and they say, you know, look, dude, I'm frustrated. This is not working out for me. Like I'm just, it's not, it's not happening. I'm not making any money or I'm not making enough money. My first, the first place that I would go with you, if that was you coming to me is let me ask you this question. In the last 90 days, like how many people have you being honest, like how many people have you legitimately introduced to this product in this business? Like what's the number? And it's funny because pretty much every time I've done this, they kind of hem and they haw for a second. And they're like, well, you know, um, not enough. So they know why they're not getting the results. They know they haven't done enough work, but they're mad. Again, that goes back to like, I'm, I'm mad at the lack of the results from the work that I never did. So I think in that, in, I think in that instance, you know, being, 
you can be frustrated. You can be frustrated for for no reason if you wanted to, right? But to be frustrated when you haven't done the work is is insanity, is stupidity. Now, on the other hand, you know, you're doing the work and you're not getting the result and you've done the work for a long period of time. It's one thing. It's like, dude, I worked for a month and I'm not making 10 grand a month. I'm like, you worked for a month. Have you ever done this before? No, you're only in it month one. You just started, you know, you're actually made some pretty good progress month one. I'm not making 10 grand a month yet. I'm pissed. I quit. I mean, you think you could laugh at that, but the truth is people, there's some people that are like that. So, you know, if, if, if you're, here's the thing, there's, there's, there's only really two deals there. There's two roads, if you will, like you're either not doing the work. And if you're not doing the work and you're frustrated and you want to quit, like shouldn't be frustrated and want to quit. Cause you didn't do the work anyhow. You're just, you're like, you got to get real. Like, it's like, let's just be like honest with ourselves here about what I'm, what I haven't done. You know, you really haven't done anything. So why should you have gotten a result? And then there's the, the other side where they've done the work and let's say they've done the work for a long period of time, like long enough to see something. Like, can you imagine, like, like even myself, you know, two, can you so come at, imagine this working hard, showing up, showing up early, staying late, showing up, showing up every day, like hustling, 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 doing what I felt like was what I was supposed to be doing and not getting the result. And, and it's like two years in and yeah, of course I was frustrated. There was times that I, that, that I wanted to quit for sure. And I didn't because I think like, I don't know if I look back, I just kind of thought, man, Mike, if that dude can do it or she can do it, I guess it's got to happen for me, man. It's got to happen for me eventually. And I mean, there was days where I went home crying in a ball, like, God, what's wrong with me? You know, why is this not happening for me? Why is, why is this new person that came in last month? He's already making three, four grand a month. And, you know, I haven't even made hardly anything at all. And it, it's frustrating. So I think in those instances, you have to look at what you're doing and kind of analyze like the, the process. Like it, it's one thing, like if you, there's no process, if you didn't do the work, nothing, you just didn't do the work. That's the reason why you're not making any money, man. But then over here you did the work, but maybe you're just not doing good work. In my case, I realized I came to the conclusion, actually it was an event that I went to at the Bonaventure hotel in 1991 that I was way too intense and I was way too grindy and beggy and pleady and needy. And the way that I communicated through this, like my pores of my body just showed weakness, patheticness, desperation, uh, just nothing, none of it was, and then it was just, just grindy energy and nobody's attracted to that. And I learned through this character that was taught on stage that, you know, basically the, the lesson that I got was lighten up, lighten up, have fun, you know, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, enjoy the experience, like have a good time, like act like you're having a good time, dude, you're going after your financial freedom. It's something to be happy about, not to be all grindy about. And, things changed for me. They didn't change overnight, but they changed for sure. And I started to see results. So in that case I had, for me, it was, a, it was, it was an experience at an event that gave me an awareness that, you know, allowed me to change. And you guys have heard me say this, and I didn't make up this phrase, but like the, you know, awareness is the first step towards creating change. You can't change anything until you're aware that, 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 thing needs to be changed. So, you know, I, I know I've used, uh, golf a lot on a lot of my episodes as far as analogies. Uh, but it, it's the same thing. Like if I, if I was playing golf and I was even practicing golf and I was working on my craft, but, but Sometimes, like, I've noticed that there's effective practice and then there's ineffective practice. 
there's people that just go there and swing and whack at a ball, and then there's people that really intentionally are focused on making the right move on a golf ball. And, and there's a difference. So what you can do is if, you're, if you are frustrated, then you can look at your like what you've been doing and maybe analyze it and look at it and go, okay, well, have I, you know, what, where's my weak points? You know, where's my, where's my, where's the spot that I need the most improvement? You know, where, where am I losing my prospects? Cause here's the, the other thing. Like if, if you're in a deal where it's not happening for you, but it's happening for other people, it's most certainly not the deal. Cause if other people are rank advancing and growing and going and you're not, that obviously presents a problem. It's working for, if it's working for other people and you're in the same company and it's not working for you, what are they doing that's different than what you're doing? Because the only variable in that situation is the human being, the two different human beings we're discussing. So, and then the other thing I would say is, is, But going in with with some kind of I don't know realistic expectation, a lot of times we have to adjust our own expectations, or somebody has to adjust them for us. Because it's kind of funny, like when you when an opportunity is presented in network marketing, you, you see the big money and the lifestyle and the you know I mean there's huge checks that are earned in network marketing companies, like obscene amounts of money. And you see that and you're like, oh my gosh, like I remember when I first started and I watched this first business opportunity presentation, I was, I was, I bit hook, line and sinker into the deal. I thought I was, I mean, that was it for me. And I thought, man, I'm going to be making 10 grand a month, like in no time. I really did. I thought this is, I'm going to, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be sporting a Rolex and driving a Benz. Actually, it was a BMW 5 Series that I wanted back then. Uh. And not, and and I and so ninety days into it, I quit my job, and I wasn't even close to ten dollars a month, let alone ten grand a month. And the thing is, nobody said Todd, like, hey, when you come in here, you're gonna you can get you're gonna make you're gonna make ten grand a month by your ninetieth day. Nobody said that, but that's the that's the that's the picture that I painted in my own mind based on the presentation that I saw. It's my fault. I don't blame anybody for that. Nobody else but me. And so I way under delivered on my own expectations and that's what typically happens. So if you have overly high expectations and then those expectations are under delivered upon, then typically what occurs is you get frustrated, you get discouraged because your expectations are this, but the result is that. But if we like, under promise and over deliver. It's kind of like we're over promising ourselves and under, under delivering on ourselves. And that's a problem. So to alleviate frustration, and I'm not saying that, you know, what I'm talking to you about today is, is you're going to be never frustrated ever again. I mean, I can't make that promise, but you know, if you have some, some realistic, mindset around what you're doing and you're like okay if you're not doing the work you can't be frustrated you have no right to be frustrated if you did the work for a month and you're frustrated you kind of really don't have the right to be frustrated you don't if you're if you're in it for like six months and you haven't recruited a soul in your six months yeah maybe you should be a little frustrated but that doesn't mean the frustration has to lead to quitting or going elsewhere what it should lead to is like, I need to look at what I'm doing because other people are getting results in the same time period that I'm getting them, that I'm not getting them in the same company. What am I doing that's different from what they're doing? And if I do things differently, shouldn't I get a different result? Because again, we also know, we've all heard the phrase, like one of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. I know it's like, blah, blah, blah. like we've heard that a bazillion times probably, right? But isn't that true? It's like, that is kind of insane. It's like, I continue to repeat the same thing over and over, but I, it should be happening different. No, it shouldn't. It should be happening exactly the same because you've been doing it exactly the same for a long period of time. 
So, I don't know, just some thoughts for you guys today because, uh, you know, I deal with a lot of people that, that are frustrated in networking and they want to quit. And, you know, you got to look at your scenario and why, you know, what are you frustrated about? Why are you frustrated? Are you doing the work? Are you doing the right work? Are you doing the right work effectively? Are you doing the right work effectively for long enough? And you should be able to analyze that stuff and come to some kind of conclusion and or, or at the very least some degree of awareness and then you can make whatever necessary changes you need to make based on the awareness that you have so anyhow that's my deal for the day hope you're having a fantastic day if you're on my youtube channel appreciate you guys if you're on my podcast listening to me on audio thank you so much the rest of the details on this episode and other cool things are right here toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 236 t-o-double-d-f-a-l-c-o-n-e.com forward slash episode 236